In this video, I'm working on our project, building some drawers. And for the drawer construction, I'm using a method that I really like, but that I've never shown in a YouTube video. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a quick one, really diving in and telling you everything you need to know about the method. In today's world of YouTube build videos, I would bet most often you guys are used to seeing drawers built either using a festal domino or with pocket holes like here in this case. And then another common method that I use a lot would be the half, half, half method, cutting rabbits and dados here so the pieces join together. Now these are all great and strong methods when we're able to hide all this ugliness with a second drawer front. We have the end grain of the side pieces. Of course, in this case, we have pocket holes. Here the bottom is just glued on. And the other one, the drawer bottom is slid into grooves, but you still have the little squares in the corners visible from the front. So like I said, all great methods when we're able to hide all that. But that's not always the case, like in this project I'm working on. The front of the drawer box is the front of the drawer box that you're going to see. So in this method, we're going to use one single router bit with one simple setup to create all the joints that are super strong with the interlocking tongues. And we don't have any of this to hide on the front of the box. Now there are all sorts of cool things you can do with this bit, not just limited drawer boxes, but this is the Freud drawer lock router bit. Uh, I'm going to be using the half inch shank and there is a smaller version with a quarter inch shank as well. But let's go ahead and get it installed in the router table. Now the key to making the setup really fast in the future is by using setup blocks. So after we get this bit dialed in perfect, go ahead and make another scrap block that you can save, that you can reference every time you set it up, make it way easier. Now obviously, me having this already set up perfect doesn't help you guys, so I'm going to ignore that I have this and go ahead and set it up from scratch. First setting the bit height to 3 8 of an inch. The next thing we need to set is the fence, and the fence is going to depend on the thickness of your material. And there are multiple ways you can use these bits, and I'm going to show you a few of them, so don't let that confuse you. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can. But on this first one, I'm using 3 quarter inch material for all four sides of the box. And the way I'm going to set the router bit up, we're going to be able to cut the fronts and backs and sides without moving the fence. And for that, I'm going to use a 7 16 block to set the fence back 7 16 of an inch from the very front of the cutter head. With the bit set up, we can go ahead and run these through. Uh, the fronts and backs of the drawer box are going to be face down on the table like this. And then the sides are going to be ran through standing up vertically. Okay, this is great. I was being sloppy with my setup on purpose to illustrate what adjustments you might need to make. And as I bring the joint together, you can see we're a little loose in this direction. Our tongues aren't thick enough. So to fix that, in this case, I need to raise the bit a little bit. If the tongues were too thick and the joint wouldn't fully come together, then you would want to lower the bit. And then in this direction, you can see our front is a little too long. We're cutting too far into the piece and we have too much of an overhang here. So to fix that, I need to bring the fence closer toward the front of the bit and vice versa. If you were too short here and the front wasn't long enough, then you would want to push the fence further away from the bit. But let's go ahead and make these adjustments and get this thing dialed in. All right, this is more like it. Exactly what I'm looking for after just those simple adjustments. And like I said, after you get that dialed in for this thickness, go ahead and just make yourself a scrap block so you always have it. Simple setup the next time you go to use it. So we're dialed in for three quarter. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Say you want to use half inch material. Okay, half inch material is pretty common for drawer boxes. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the router bit height does not change. It's the same for all of these. The only thing that we have to change for this is the fence. We have to bring it in closer. So for that, I'm going to use 5 16 to set the fence back from the front of the bit. And again, this is going to allow us to make passes on both the front and backs and sides on all the pieces without adjusting the fence. Thank you. 
All right, I actually nailed the setup on my first try. So I went ahead and ran the other pieces through to make a whole box. And I mean, just like that, it's that simple. Incredibly strong boxes, easy and quick to do. Okay, we've done a half inch box. We did a three quarter inch. The next example I wanna show is using three quarter inch for the drawer front and then half inch for the rest of the box. This is a very common method. I mean, it's the example that comes with the bit. And again, I just wanna reiterate, I'm just showing different examples here. You're not gonna to have to do all this swapping around on one project. You're gonna pick one of these methods depending on the size of material that you need. And just make all your boxes, not all this swapping around. So I don't wanna confuse you. I just wanna reiterate that point. Um, with this method, we are this, the bit height does not change. It's the same as all the others, but we are gonna to have to change the fence when we're cutting the half inch compared to the three quarter but it's a very simple change and there's no measuring involved with this. So let's show you how that's done. On this method, we're gonna cut the sides first and to set the fence on this, all we're gonna do is take a straight edge and put it on the bottom inside cutter edge and align the fence flush with that. After you've ran all your side pieces through, now we can move the fence back to run the three quarter inch fronts through. Now for this, we're gonna go back to measuring off the fence to the tip of the cutter head. And this dimension needs to match the thickness of your side pieces. An easy way to do this is to take your actual side pieces so you know it's exactly what you need. Then you can just run a straight edge across and line it up with the tip of that cutter head. And just like that, we have our three quarter inch front meeting up to our half inch sides, right on the money. Everything is exactly right where we want it. Another thing I wanna show you that's really cool about these big Freud bits is that we can actually create an overhang on our drawer front here. Say if you have a drawer slide or something that you wanna cover and hide, all we gotta do is push the fence back to make a deeper cut to get that drawer slide hidden. As you can see, this is a really cool feature that's gonna be handy in a lot of cases. All right, I went ahead and cut some grooves all the way through for a drawer bottom, just to show that when the pieces come together, there's no visible signs of that anywhere on the outside. So that's really nice. Like I said, if you're not adding another drawer front, you can use this method even if you are gonna add another drawer front. But for those times when you're not, that's really nice not to have any sign of that anywhere. And you don't have to worry about making stopped cuts or anything like that. Just run your pieces all the way through and you still won't see it in the end. All right, I've shown how to cut the joints, so now I just wanna quickly go over drawer sizing so you know what length to cut your pieces. Of course, this is gonna differ depending on the material thickness. I just have the half inch here to show you as an example. Um, when it comes to the drawer fronts and backs, there's no math at all, They're just, they just are what they are. Whatever width you're needing the drawer to be to fill your space, that's what length you cut your drawer fronts and backs. We're not taking anything off of them from your outside point to the outside point. They just are what you need them to be. So that's really nice, no math there. When it comes to the drawer sides, remember we're cutting three eighths of an inch up into this. So we have one eighth inch left over here on the front and one eighth inch left over in the back. So let's say you need the drawer to be 20 inches deep. We have one eighth here, one eighth here, that's a quarter. So we're gonna cut the sides 19 and three quarter. So when you're, they're all added up, you're at 20 inches. So really simple math on all these. And as you can see, I wasn't using some crazy expensive router table setup and still able to get really great clean results. Um, of course, sacrificial push block will just help prevent tear out on the backside. And you might've noticed I have a sacrificial fence on here and I have the bit basically buried in there. That's not necessary, you don't have to do that, but it is nice. That's a pretty big bit that you're using. So that just adds stability, prevents you from tilting your piece in there as you're pushing through. Just nice and smooth, glides right across. Again, you don't have to do that, but if you're doing this a lot, I would recommend that, it makes it a lot easier. 
And then feather boards are really nice. I wasn't using them here in the video just to keep a clear view for you guys, but great to keep pressure toward the bit or then down on the table, depending which direction you're going. But that's it guys. Like I said, really simple setup, strong drawers. They look good. Hopefully this video helped you out if you want to give them a try. Until next time, take care.